Hello everybody and welcome to a quick video about the update 1.41 I have to say because uh, I was late home today and uh, there's already a patch so big big props to Frontier they they patched it within two hours um, I heard there were a lot of issues regarding the save files and hopefully because I didn't test anything I didn't test the thing I should say um, so we are right off into the game and um, yeah let me just quickly show you uh, as you can see some new stuff is in here we have the scenario data which we will look into quickly we will have an autumn um, scenery pack kind of thing and we have new rides and coasters and stuff management building and a lot more to talk about uh, basically we need to talk about a little bit more than show it because uh, there is kind of a lot of stuff um, which is also a new scenario by the way um, but there's a lot of stuff we will have to look into um, which is not really visible but let's talk about that um, apart from that I have to say I won't go too deep into the scenario editor because tomorrow evening I'll having a stream which will be solely about the scenario editor which I will then put on YouTube as well so um, yeah let's talk about about all the other stuff and a little bit about the scenario editor as well but I think since it's so huge, uh, it deserves an own space in, and not in a quick video. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. I'll quickly load the level and we'll talk further. So here we are now in the game. I um, took Camel Kingdom for a very good reason. So first of all, um, you haven't seen that <laughs> yet, but I think for this special video uh, it's kind of okay to, to show you what's um, going on with the preparation of this area. But what I can say, and this is the first thing you can't see in the video by showing it, but the performance is hugely and tremendously improved and you can see one other thing immediately as well. Um, uh, look at this! Those guys are wandering around. So why are you, they doing it? Well, because uh, yeah, they will do this now as they leave their shops when they are uh, um, tired and when they have to rest, or they just you know move around in the park. So we can now open this one, and you see there is a little sign put on top of the desk, and nobody's in. So basically, this is a good thing because um, now it adds a little bit to the management stuff, and I don't really know if that's. Uh, a thing but the textures seem to be a little bit off here Let, let's open this one to see uh, well I don't know if, if that's a thing I have to look into it uh, as I said I didn't do anything yet in the game so um, basically uh, I, I, I just do this with you together but yeah first thing vendors now can go around and leave their shops and as you can see nobody's in their shops I opened it and now she is coming towards her shop and she is running through this one um, but we will fix that and as I said this is um, ah, look at this jump in and welcome now she is waiting for guests to come which won't come because it's uh, closed but as you can see um, oh I don't want to listen to this song why is this always in? I have no idea. Um, but you can see people are going in here and they are moving through those pieces. And the problem with those pieces is, or was, that people would go through them because they don't have, um, you know, they, they don't have, how is it called, a hitbox or is it kind of this, well, never mind, they don't have any um, physics to them, so people would go, oh, she's shearing the other because she's already working. Oh, that was funny. Anyways, we do have now stuff to get rid of this problem and I don't really know where it is, but let's see if we can find this. So it should be... Where is this in? Let, let me see. Where, where sh would I look for it? Um, usually I should maybe benches. We will have some more picnic benches later on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We will look into this um, in detail in this video, but uh, first of all, New, new bins? Not really. Um, art shape still the same? Where could this be? Like, maybe is it with path? Maybe in path? That could be a thing, right? Um, do we have... Is it in here? Because there should be barriers in. I'm so sorry that I didn't look to it. What do we have? Camera follow, select grid. No, it's not in here. Do we have curb, railing? Is it in building, maybe? You see, it's live, guys. Um, I, I, I said I didn't prepare, I should have, but um, there's simply no time to do, so you have to live with it. I'll just go and watch another video, I'm so sorry. Uh, where could this be then? Give me a second. Where could I... 
castle. There was an option to look for new stuff. Uh, was it in here? Uh, building set, content, no, scene of dream, no, not really, not really, okay, I can't filter for new stuff. Wasn't there an option that I can somehow? I, I believe there was an option to, to look for new items only, but it seems not to be. So where could this be then? I believe it should be in scenery, right? I mean, anything else doesn't make any sense. Um, is it nature? Cameras? No? No? Uh, okay, nothing in here. Oh wait, what's, what's this? Uh, fences? Maybe in fences. That makes sense because we now... Yes, there we go. Okay, we have a curb. So, 4 meter curb, 2 meter curb, 1 meter curb, and we have a barrier. Um, two meter. It's, it's looking nice, to be honest. It's like... Can we, can we paint this? Oh, we can. That's cool. Uh, let me just simply grab this. I don't really know. Does stuff then go through this to make back? I have no idea, but we will check this later on. Not, not in this video, but okay. So we can definitely colorize this as um, to to match the ground colors, and then I don't know if we sink this in. If then people won't go through this one. But let me just place this like that. It it also gives again a little um, you know point of realism to it because honestly people wouldn't go through it but if you just want to lay out an area where people shouldn't go in real life you would have to put a fence or something in as well so I don't really care about that this is visible right now and you can hopefully you can sink that in we will have to oh wait why did I place that down like this so basically what should happen now is that people don't walk through this now and we don't have to put a millions of planters down to make them not run through this one so let me just quickly check I don't even know how can we check uh, you know what? I'm just putting down a. Wait. Um. I can. There we go. Now we do have a vendor here. We can... That's even uh, even the best thing to check it because um, we now can plop down vendors. But you can already see he's now avoiding to go through it. He's clapping his hands. Let me just. Why is he so happy? Because he doesn't need to work and he gets paid anyways, right? Clap, clap. But he's running through our. Little fountain. Okay, I'm not I'm definitely not going to put down everything right now. So this is what I do off screen then. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I believe that people uh, now can be moved along the path by just putting down those barriers and and little things. Um, that's a really cool addition, I have to say. Um, we do have the curb and the barrier. I have to say, the curb is the one to to make to handle the gas flow a little bit better. And we have the barrier too. And hopefully. And yeah, let's now hit play again and see if he's or she is. Wait, uh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. What did she do? Um, guys, this is not how it is supposed to be. <laughs> what? And okay, um, so if they can't go through it, they will just. All right. Um, let me see if we can test this another way around. Um, where are you guys? Okay. Is there anybody over here where we can test this? Uh, let me see. Let me put this one down. And this one. Because it seems as if they could move through it. So let's see. Um, hmm. Uh, uh, Alright, so... Yeah, I believe it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, okay. Mm, it would have been a cool addition. Anyways. So next thing we are looking into is the most the most awaited feature of all time, I would say. This is picnic benches, and I do like those, I have to say, but now we can get rid of those and make a proper restaurant area, which I am so happy about. So now let's um, quickly delete all of those assets, except one, because I don't know if I need this anywhere in the future. So let me just quickly, can't I? Do I have to? Honestly, all right, so let's do it like this. Clicky, clicky, click, and see what's going on. We will also look into the new rides, guys. Uh, but as I said, this will be a quick overview, and we will do some more in detail tomorrow evening from, uh, I believe, 7, 7.30 p.m. Uh, Central European time, winter time. So please, 
if you want to tune in, make sure to, to watch the times correctly. Anyways, now let's go and pay, plop down some picnic benches. I'm so, it's so cool to finally have some. It's um, just pure awesomeness, if this is even a word. So we do have, uh, let me just quickly put down some and we will then decide for uh, those we go with. Uh, oh, we do have also another, wait, is this? This is... Uh, wait. No. Okay. Ah, we get that one as a soul, uh, as an as a simple bench as well. This is so cool. Okay, we have the western one. Oh, that looks beautiful. We have a spooky one. Oh, which you can... Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, we can abuse that one pretty nicely for some standardish one. The fairy tale one is this one, I believe. Okay, let's put this down over here. We do have the ship as well, right? Yeah. Can we please? Thank you. Alright, do we have... No, there's still the modern one left and there's also... This one is also new, right? So this can be... I, I do love that it doesn't stick or, or connect to the pass um, border automatically as the benches do. Look at this. It, it is kind of... You see? It, it's kind of bounded to it, but this one isn't. So that's pretty cool. We, we, we can't put that outside, right? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, we forgot about... The sci-fi one, where can we put this down? Oh, over here, okay. Uh, we, we are not gonna leave them in here, please. Uh, please, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't get me wrong, sorry, I'm just so... so excited about to see what's all going on. Um, we should open the park, right? Uh, that's, oh, wait, the park should be open. Is it open? Wait a second. Uh, no, it isn't. So let's open the park and is any... Wait, let's... Okay, this is broken down. Can we open any... This is I believe everything is broken down, right? Yeah, it... Uh, David, okay. Well, let's open the shop then. <laughs> uh, and hope that people are coming in. So let's open this one. And this one, which is cool because um, you can see then that people have to walk there first. So you can't just open the shop and there is one in. No, you will open it and then people will come and join into the shop and be the vendor of this shop, which is amazing. Uh, but let me see. Okay, we can recolor, replace. Ah, if it's broken, we have to replace it. That's uh, so cool. Wait, we, we can even color. No way. Okay, this is um, beyond cool. I believe this is just for the little thing in the middle, right? Okay, and this might be... Yes, oh gosh, this is so cool. Okay, we can recolor all of those, right? Yes, we can. Also, this one... This one is not recolor. Okay, that, that makes sense because it's very unique. Oh, we can... Wait. No way! So, can we actually... Wait, if that's possible, it should be possible to... Do I have any other bench to test yet? Okay, this one is not, okay. Uh, but we should be able then to... Uh, where's the one? Where's the, where's the simple... There's the simple park bench. I think we should be able then to... Yes, we can now. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure if we were, were able to do this before as well, but if not, welcome, new feature. Ah, oh, this is very cool. Do we have guests coming in now? Yes, uh, is this a No, that's... Oh no, those are guests. Okay, cool. So, let's speed up the game a little bit while I show you something else. And you can see the game still has a very, very good performance. Even though it is um, running, we have guests coming in and I have speeded up three times. Um, it was barely even playable for me before. So, this is a brilliant improvement. Um, Anyways, I should lock the amount of people coming in. Uh, wait, 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 where is it? Wait, 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 overview, guess. Uh, I think 1K, sh no, what? not 100, 1K should be fine. So there we go. People are coming in, roaming around the picnic benches, and they sit down. That's all we wanted. Let's see what they do. Okay. They are clipping through it, which is... Well, basically because I, um, yeah, because I just totally forgot to um, place them in a good way. Uh, because this is now okay. Let me let me just quickly delete those because that's just ridiculous. Uh, oh, look at this! I love it. He's just sitting there. Frontier Expo shirt, oh, so nice. I also love how she's she's leaning with her hand there on it. Oh, this is so beautiful. 
Okay, cool. Look at this, how he stepped over there. Oh, nice. Having his hand... It's... They they always spend so much attention to those little details. Like the the, the hand. Just the hand, hand leaning on the table. And did you see that? It's not even sticking to the table. Okay, he pushed himself off the... And there you go. Some rubbish on the table he left. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe it would be nice to see that they actually put stuff on before. But anyways, not too important then. Uh, but yeah, so that's um, about it. We also have now toilets that can get dirty, so they have to be cleaned after a while. And I don't know if this is already dirty. No, it isn't. But I don't know if, if we click on it. Um, no, you can't really see, but you will get an information uh, in, in the form of green dust that this is a uh, dirty toilet. So basically, that's it. Um, we do have a new facility building as well. And this one is... Where is it? We have the stuff management. Stuff building! There we go! And this new stuff building will be there for people, uh, for the stuff, to go in to, as you can see, um, uh, energy features are disabled in this park. Stuff will not use this building. Okay, um, yeah, I, I don't know if this is... Alright, I have to do it in the scenario editor then. Um, but anyways, um, this would be there to to yeah you know that you're why is this song coming again why is shuffle mode not a shuffle mode anyways um this building is there so that people can or not people but your stuff can go in and take a rest take a nap and also get trained to get better and more efficient in the end so also regarding this it's now uh, a matter of how big the size of the group is that is going to buy something from your vendors um uh, how fast they can serve them. So if you have two people there, they will be quicker uh, Instead of having like a group of five people that will take longer until your vendors have served them So there's a lot of clipping through. I will have to change that a lot. Anyways, I do believe did they even change something with the with the graphics because it, it seems that those textures are popping out quite a lot in, in comparison to before It looks way more like 3d or maybe it's down to the new driver I just installed. Anyways, let's look into the new content then before we stop this video. And sorry I decided to not look into the scenario editor because that will take too much time and we will do this then tomorrow in detail. So please forgive me. Um, we do have to look into coasters first. And there we do have three new ones. The first one is the hop the gaps. And what we should do is we should use a blueprint because I don't want to build one on my own now. So, the one falls, no, which one is this? Should be, is there? No, uh, I believe this isn't. There should be a, uh, this is definitely not a hop the gaps layout. Do we have, I mean, there should be a blueprint for it. Is it this one? I believe, no, it isn't. Okay. Now let's see why this is. I, I was quite sure this was this one. Anyways, this is Hop the Gaps. Um, pretty, or was it this one? Maybe I, I just let me just quickly check. I am not quite sure if that was, uh, but it should have been this one. Uh, blueprint, wooden. Is it the tornado then? No, it isn't. Um, it, it's also not this one, right? Nope, and this is also not this one. Don't we have a blueprint of those? Mm. I'm a little bit confused anyways. Uh, so yeah, this is Hop the Gaps. This is a um, pretty standardish or maybe the first type of coaster there is. Um, the car is going up and down. It's, it's nearly not possible to have... Um, uh, how's it called again? Oh, she. This is a very unprepared video. I'm so sorry for it. Um, but you can't really... Uh, let me go into it and can we, well, we can do but usually it doesn't you can see 10 degrees is the maximum we can have uh, how's this even called I totally forgot Anyways, that's why I, I, I'm doing two less videos at the moment and that's why I forget all the English words um, yeah I can't I can't think of that word now but you know the little tilt to the sides holy shit I don't even know what it is anyways let's go to the next coaster because I I wanted to show you that one, but there's no blueprint. Why? Anyways, 
then we should have another one, the powered coaster. And I'm pretty sure there has to be this one. Can I place this down somewhere, please? Yes, there we go. So, this is the altitude. This is a powered coaster. It's, um, you know, the Intermin version, it is, I believe. And we will test this one and sit down into it. And the cool thing is, you can build the top hand partly on your own. And this is really cool. You can use this track also as another element um, in this game. So, uh, this is a really cool one. Uh, it seems to be kind of smooth, I have to say. I'm not the biggest of coaster experts, but um, for me that looks pretty decent, I have to say. And yeah, we do have this. It's pretty much a, a standardish layout, um, which uh, is seen in the real world quite a lot, I guess. According to some other people, there are some inaccuracies which they will look into, but I'm not too sure about this because, as I said, I'm not a coaster nerd that much, and I, I think I like this one, especially with the ability to be a little bit more custom and let me just quickly check which pieces are uh, here, here, is, here you can see it's it's not a complete piece this one is yeah kind of a complete piece but you can see it's it's not an entire piece so at least you can vary a little bit anyways let's come to the last one which is the most interesting of all and then we just have the few flat rides left and this video should be done by then so where is uh, the last coaster let me just quickly check and um ooh, this should be then is it typhoon maybe um wait recent it's not the case. In, in which category is it then? I mean, it's not a hybrid, it's other steel. There we go. It's the Acropolis. And. Come on, please. Can I. Where is it? is it? Is it this big? Ah, there we go. And this is a water coaster, which I believe is a very, very nice addition to the game. Let me just exit the menu uh, because it is a combination of a water coaster with dark ride elements if you want so and a really twisty nice coaster i love the footprint of this version anyways um yeah we will look way more in detail into it tomorrow because then i will be building this one as well but yeah i just quickly want to show you everything in a nutshell well it's not everything but as much as i can so let me also show you the new flat rides which is um where is it? It is one. I just. That's the wise horn. There we go. That's the one. And we do have another one, which is the. Come on, please. Uh, where's the smaller version of it? Which is called the Monte. How's it called? Monte Leon Adels. There is it. And you can see it's basically the same ride, or type of ride. Um, you have a pre-made roof in this one. It's slightly bigger and you have this little footprint which is not exactly round but with a little bit more edges. And this one which is a little bit smaller and has just a round footprint without any roof. So you can customize it on your own. And I believe, is it, is it smaller in general? No, it isn't really, right? It's, no, it's the same size, I believe. But yeah, as you can see, um, those two are brilliant, I guess, because we have now two different, uh, like the same ride, but you can style it in the way you want it. Because you have it one time with a kind of main Treeish classical funfair style and the um, completely naked one, which you can style in the way you want to. And now let me go back to the park to give you a nice view of the park. And as I said, like the performance is crazy. I'm still way over 20 FPS in a running park. Uh, on play with over a thousand guests.